there's a general mood of uncertainty in Hong Kong. It's been little over a year since Beijing implemented Hong Kong's national security law, sparking concerns of a wider erosion of civil liberties that could change the face of the city. Since then, tens of thousands of Hong Kongers have applied for British citizenship, as new foreign arrivals have trended downwards since 2020. Some Hong Kong expats plan to leave, but others who have called the city home for a decade or more say they're here to stay. I met with three expats who all plan to carry on in Hong Kong, each with their own story of why the city remains an attractive base. Hong Kong remains my home, and in the past you know, two and a half years where we've had great social unrest in Hong Kong and we've had great division within Hong Kong, I have not felt any need to want to leave the city. I own property here, I own, my cars are here, my dogs are here, my partner is here, my friends are here, and I have no, pl no plans to, 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 to run away, basically, because Hong Kong is home. And as I said before, if you meet Hong Kong halfway, it is a wonderful place to live. I'm Mark Pika, I'm the co-founder of 3812 Gallery, gallery specializing in Chinese contemporary art. This is our new 3,500 square foot gallery space um, in Wyndham Street. Um, we decided to open the gallery last year, um, despite the economic situation in Hong Kong. Part of our commitment to the future of Hong Kong was to have a dedicated gallery space that was in central um, and pure gallery space. The art market here has gone from strength to strength. That is because people trust the system here. They trust the rule of law here. They trust the accounting system here. None of that has been affected at all by the implementation of national security law. The NSL has brought stability back to Hong Kong. People often misconstrue stability with fear. If you're a law-abiding citizen, I don't see where the fear is coming from. I think the prospects for Hong Kong remain incredibly positive. Hong Kong needs to be the best city within China. and We need to seize these opportunities to depoliticize, to stop focusing inward, start opening outwards. So I think if I were 20 or 25 years of age, I'd want to be here facing the largest economic growth the world has ever seen, sitting across the border here. There are still expats coming to Hong Kong. So they are not scared of the future of Hong Kong. They want to be part of the journey of a new Hong Kong, a Hong Kong that, that builds upon its foundations and beats its chest proudly by saying to the rest of the world, we are still full of opportunity. So join us because Hong Kong is going to be the best city in China. I think any place has, has his own problems. We are not that worried about the future. Marina Diaz Cascon is an architect and mother living with her husband and three children in Discovery Bay on Lantau Island. She has lived in Hong Kong for six years and believes the city is still an ideal place to raise a family. The lifestyle we have as a family is quite nice. I mean, the opportunities I have here, I wouldn't have it in Europe, for example. And at the same time, I, I often tell to the kids, if we go to Spain, you will go to school for eight hours a day, and I will be very late working until nine or so. And it's quite different. Los animales? I mean, I always have concerns about the future, of course, as a mother, as a person. I guess nobody knows how it will affect. And I think sometimes when times are like traveling or something that worries you, it's better just to stay still and see how the how things go. Like there is a say, uh, you have to wait the mud to settle down so the water is crystal clear again, so you can take a better decision with that. Judith Mackay has lived in Hong Kong for more than 50 years. She sees the recent political changes as part of Hong Kong's constant cycle of change. So in 1967, when I first came, uh, this picture just shows the huge numbers of people actually who lived in sampans. 
Uh, my husband had been here for three years on his own as a bachelor, so he knew Hong Kong quite well. So when I first came out, he would take me out to visit all these different places. For example, the second day I was here, he took me up the peak, I remember, to just look down and over Hong Kong. So um, I, j I basically just came and saw and watched and just felt that this was, this was going to be my new home. Oh, it was quite emotional looking back on that, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yes. And what Hong Kong has become now. Yep. My name is Dr. Judith Mackay. I've lived in Hong Kong since 1967, and I've certainly seen Hong Kong go through many changes. I arrived in the middle of the riots um, in 1967. I've seen various financial crashes. I've been through the handover, uh, been through SARS, been through the recent um, protestations and riots in Hong Kong, and now COVID. So it's been a pretty interesting 54 years. I have concerns for Hong Kong, but certainly not enough to make me want to move from here. Um, I know we have had some recent problems. I know we're having stability restored here, and I know we have a slightly uncertain future, but then, you know, what country doesn't? Um, we've always had an emigration overseas. We had a big emigration before 1997, and as it happened, many of those then came back. So is that going to happen here? We don't know. Young people are disaffected. Young people say they don't trust the government, and that's why I say my greatest hope for Hong Kong is that if things do settle down into law and order, that that might allow the resurgence of people who are much more pro the government. I think my appreciation level of many things in my life, but including Hong Kong, is, is very much part of what, what the situation we have here, which is not that bad. It's not as bad as a, as a great many people would have you think. Having had 54 very interesting years here, I'm certainly heading for some more interesting years to come because I think the playing out of all those forces, where, as I said, nobody's right and nobody's 100% right and nobody's 100% wrong, it'll be very interesting to see where this shakes down. I'm staying in Hong Kong because Hong Kong is basically my home now. Um, and I think, you know, my future is very definitely here. As some expats say, they will wait and see how much the city will change. For others, there is only one place to be.